Hey everyone, it's Ranella Hernandez and I'm at Token 2049 in Dubai. It's the first time that it is being held here and it is day one. I am talking to one of the attendees, Bartos or B, co-founder at Cube Exchange. How are you? Yeah, pretty good. What about you? I'm well. I'm liking this conference so far. What about you? Yeah, it's fun. It's very crowded. I wasn't expecting that many people. I know, me neither. But this is a good turnout. And is it your first time at Token 2049? Uh, no, I've been before in Singapore. So how does the Dubai edition compare to the Singapore version? Uh, Dubai is obviously a beautiful city, but I think it was disrupted a bit by the weather, so... A bit, a bit. Yes, Dubai had major storms and flooding this week. Do you, are you... Did you have any horror stories? Were you okay? Uh, no, I was, I was fine. I wasn't affected in any way. Okay, that's good. Well, lucky because we get to talk today and I wanted to learn more about you and Cube Exchange and what it is. So tell us what the mission and the vision is behind it. Sure. So pretty straightforward. We want to make the trading more transparent uh, and we build basically a decentralized MPC infrastructure to settle custody, uh, to settle the assets directly to different layer ones and allow you to custody the assets as well. So can you break that down a little bit for us? Like what does that mean for a user? Yeah. So when you trade on Cube, you own your crypto uh, directly on each layer one. So if you deposit Bitcoin, you will be able to see that Bitcoin on the Bitcoin uh, ledger directly and will never be commingled with other users' assets. So you guys are exclusively building on Bitcoin? Bitcoin, Ethereum, Solana. All right. And so what is the the like the goal or the, the mission behind Cube? What, what would you like to change within this industry? Sure. Make the exchanges more transparent, uh, not allow another FTX to happen. That's a good goal. All right. So the other day I was speaking to someone at Paris Blockchain Week and she said that transparency is the new black. What do you think about that phrase? Like transparency is in fashion. <laughs> yeah, sure. I I think that was the original principle of blockchain. Uh, so I think losing that somewhere along the way uh, was pretty sad. So I would agree with that. And so what makes you so passionate about your work and this industry? Like what, what got you into blockchain and Web3 in the first place? Sure. So before that, I worked in traditional finance and it's pretty opaque. So again, making it more transparent. Okay, perfect. Now tell me what um, we can expect from Cube. Like how can people use it? Sure. Like what are the main functionalities? Yeah, so pretty straightforward. It's an exchange just like Coinbase. You go to cube.exchange, you can register and trade. So that part is easy. Um, what you can expect is we will be launching on the day of the halving, like in two days, uh, runes trading directly on Bitcoin, uh, which is pretty unique. I don't think anyone will be doing it day one. Okay, yeah, so let's talk about that a little bit more. The Bitcoin halving is coming up. It is scheduled for the 20th of, of April. Um, what are you going to be doing that day? Like, are you going to be celebrating? <laughs> uh, so it's actually my wife's birthday. So yes, I will be celebrating. Amazing. And so tell me a little bit more about what um, runes are on Bitcoin. I understand it's... Uh, fungible tokens, not not NFTs, but fungible tokens on Bitcoin. So explain that a little bit more for our viewers. Yeah. Uh, so just like you can trade Bitcoin and ETH, uh, those are the native tokens of different blockchains. Um, you will be able to trade natively on Bitcoin network fungible tokens. Um, so imagine anything that represents a commodity that is fully exchangeable for other things. So you what's the benefit of that? You could have a stable coin that runs on Bitcoin itself, secured with Bitcoin, right? Imagine USDC, instead of running on Ethereum, Solana, it's actually on the Bitcoin network, secured by the, you know, the most secure proof of work out there. So are you partial to Bitcoin? Is that your favorite chain? <laughs> uh, I'm really excited about the innovation that's happening in that space. Uh, just because it's, you know, massive market cap, it's... You know, it's the biggest blockchain out there and it didn't have DeFi for, you know, since the beginning. And with the fungible tokens, you will be able to build all the DeFi protocols like Borland, uh, trading, all of that directly on the Bitcoin network. I see. And so what's your favorite thing and your least favorite thing about working in this industry? Um, what my favorite thing is uh, you work with people from very diverse backgrounds. Uh, like it's almost guaranteed that if you talk with someone, 
they they might not be engineer they might be an artist uh or even if they are coding maybe before they were dj uh coming from finance it's very different in finance almost everyone is like like cookie cutter like hey i have my mba i finished this degree and then i'm an investment banker or i'm like an engineer in like this thing and everyone is just like the suits the same uh and i think even though the blockchain is trying to rebuild the finance uh, it's very diverse and your least favorite thing um all the scams yeah i agree with you that is also not my favorite part all right and so one last question for you be what if is there a moment a memory an experience a person <laughs> Something that you would tokenize on chain as an NFT, or maybe as a, I don't know, as a rune or something um, to immortalize on chain, basically. Like, what would that be for you? Something in either your professional life or your personal life? Sure. Uh, so I actually did that uh, before. So not sure if you know that, but I actually developed the NFT standard on Solana. So all the NFTs on Solana are actually from the code that me and my friend Jordan built. Uh, and the first NFT that we launched on Solana was in front of Citadel's office. Uh, the time that we left. Amazing. I got to check that out. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for your time, V. And enjoy the rest of Token 2049. Cheers.